to try that again. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, and it is so good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. And to see the faces of the saints of God. God is good. God is faithful. It is because of his grace and mercy that we are here. Praise the Lord. Come on, give the Lord a shout of praise. And we welcome you to the 75th Annual Ministers and Workers Meeting. Amen. This is the 75th year, the anniversary. Amen. That is good. That is a, a test to the goodness of the Lord that he has kept us together. Amen. Worshiping, praising him, growing for 75 years. Praise the Lord. And we are just anticipating a good time in the Lord here in the sanctuary and wherever you are watching. Amen. Let's all just glorify God together. We're going to begin our service. Amen. We're going to have prayer rendered and led by our own elder Woodrow Hinton and then scripture will be by Minister Leon Powell and then after that we will have a musical presentation from the jurisdictional music department come on let's say praise the Lord elder Hinton Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. No other name. Oh, I love that wonderful name of Jesus. Love that wonderful name. Jesus, love that wonderful name of Jesus, oh, no other name, oh, praise that wonderful name of Jesus, praise that wonderful name of Jesus, praise that wonderful name of Jesus, no other name. I know he is, hallelujah, he is, he is, he is, he is, oh, yes, yeah. Lord, thank you, he is, Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight for another glorious opportunity that you have allowed us to come together once again. We pray you for your goodness, for your love and your kindness. Lord, you've been so good. You've blessed us all day long. You kept our mind. You kept our strength. You kept our joy. And we praise you tonight. We praise you, God, for all that you've done and what you're doing. Have your way tonight, oh God. Let your anointing fill the room. Let the Holy Ghost have his way. Lord, bless your people everywhere. Touch right now. Send deliverance tonight. Lord, we come to praise and magnify you. We come to give you glory. We thank you, God, for this work of meeting tonight. Lord, have your way, have your way, have your way. Have your way tonight. In a mighty way, oh God. We look to you by faith. We just believe you're going to have your way in us. We just believe that you're going to anoint us. Lord, bless everything we do and everything we say. And we give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. I'm going to read Psalms 100. Because we did come to celebrate. Amen. Come on, let me try that again. We did come to celebrate. Amen. 
I heard somebody say 75 years. Psalms 100 and verse 4. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and in his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the word is already blessed. Amen. Let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord for the music, music department. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. You know, there was a song I posted on Facebook. I just kind of started this little congregational song, and one of the young people said, somebody needs to teach me that song. Because, you know, she's young, she never heard it. Amen, amen. So what we're going to do in the beginning is we're going to sing that song. I don't know if she's watching right now, but we're going to make sure our young people know the songs that we've sung over 75 years. Amen? Amen. So we're going to need you to join in with us. It starts like this. I never shall forget the day. Jesus washed my sins away. Yeah. My Lord. Some of you mothers, y'all can appreciate this song. The Lord knew what I needed most. Yeah. the Holy Ghost, yeah, my Lord, he's a lily of the valley, 
Don't you love her more? More than anything. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, if you love the Lord more than anything, come on, give him that magnificent praise right now. If you love the Lord more than anything, hallelujah, that means he is number one. Amen. And I, we love him more than anything. And he proved, he proves to us that when we put him first and when we love him more than anything, amen, he works in our lives in a magnificent way. Praise God. Hallelujah. We love him because he first loved us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give him praise one more time. More than anything, we love the Lord. We love the Lord. It is because we love the Lord that we are in this place. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. It, our, the next thing on our program on the, in the service is the acknowledgement of the district superintendents. And I am one of them. Amen. I am the superintendent of the Bishop E. Lenox District. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our missionary, our district missionary, Mother Houston, she called me early on and said that she really wanted to be here, but she could not make it. So know that her heart is here, and I'm sure she's watching right now. God bless you, Mother Houston. We love you. She is a great district missionary. Whatever is asked of her, she does. Amen. And we just say that for our whole district, that whatever they ask of us, we do. Amen. And so we thank the Lord for all of those who, in our district, who cooperates with us. So now we're going to call on the next. Amen. It says, says here. Our administrative assistant. Ah, praise the Lord. Let's say amen and praise the Lord for our own bishop. Bishop Embra Patterson. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, let's praise the Lord for him. He's been going all over all over the state to every regional meeting and so we praise God for him and for his willingness to do that but we also praise the Lord for giving him journey mercy and covering him hallelujah amen our mother Patterson also is in the house praise the Lord amen and for all the saints of God to whom honor is due Amen. And now, it, our program calls for our own administrative assistant, Dr. Robert Robinson, coming for Greater Northern District. 
And then after him will be our own Superintendent Herbert Perkett Jr. for Lakeshore District. Let's say amen for that. Bishop on this afternoon to each one of you to the newly appointed uh, supervisor designee Mother Porter and to each one of you to our retiring supervisor Mother Perkett we cannot forget her and I thank God for just being here on today because God has been good to us Carrying on for the Greater Northern District, I'd like for you all to know that uh, we are the second oldest district in the state, Greater Northern. Lakeshore is the first, they're the oldest, but Greater Northern is the second oldest. And we're just trying to make sure that we hold up our end of the state. Amen. Uh, our district missionary is not here on tonight. That's district mother Maddie Howard. Y'all pray for her that she would love to be here. But y'all know when we have children and it's hard to get somebody to stay with the ones you're caring for, you know, you just have to do what you can. So pray for her that the Lord will continue to bless her. Uh, my wife, she's not here tonight because she's cooking. She's feeding the homeless. That's something that's one of the things that the Lord gave us to do, and we can't stop doing that because even though we want to have service, people are still need to eat. Amen. Uh, others in the in the district, they're different places. Michael, the uh, mm, minister of music, he's on the road headed this way somewhere from Indiana. So y'all pray for him and that the Lord will bless them over the highways because it's raining out there. When he called me about 4 o'clock, they was just passing uh, Indianapolis, headed this way. But the Lord is good, and we just thank God for Greater Northern District. Uh, we have uh, one other pastor that's here on tonight, and that's uh, Pastor Ricardo Nichols. And I thank God for him because he is acting as the assistant uh, and helping to keep the district going. And y'all know what? I thank God for Pastor Nichols. When I can't be there, he's there, holding up. And not only just in name only, but y'all know what? It's good when you got somebody to follow you and help you in deed, too. Because see, sometimes folks want to help you, but they don't want to give nothing. <laughs> Amen. So, but we're here uh, to let Bishop know that Greater Northern is behind him. And whatever he needs for us to do, we are there for you. Pray for us. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. So, so I, don't, I don't know what y'all been waiting on, but we've been two years. And, and we finally are able to come back into the house of the Lord. I know that St. John is having church. I know that Greater Holy Temple is having church. I know that uh, uh, Second Faith is having church. I know that Holiness is the way is having church. So let's act like we know what we're supposed to do. Let me say it one more time. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, let's lift up a hand, praise. Lift up our voices. Look where he's brought me from. Come on. Look where he's brought me from. Well, he's brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Look where he's brought. I must be in the wrong place. Come on. Look where he's brought me from. Oh, look where he's brought. Well, he's brought me out of darkness 
into the marvelous light. Look where. Come on, act like y'all know. Well, he's brought me from a mighty long way. Well, he's brought me from a mighty long way. Well, he's brought me out of darkness into the light. I dare you to put your hands together. Come on, this is the church of God in Christ. I'm going to move on. But we are hand clapping, foot stomping, church of God in Christ. So we believe in lifting up a, a praise unto the Lord. One more time. Well, look where he's brought me from. Well, he brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Look where he brought from. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So let me just say I am so honored and proud to be standing here as the superintendent uh, of the Lakeshore District. Church of God and uh, Superintendent, I'm so, so let me tell you a few things about us, amen. We are the oldest district in the Southern Illinois Church of God in Christ. We are the oldest district. I, I know that uh, there was an elder Wright who was a predecessor and then, uh, Bishop is signed at, at his uh, death, signed uh, our former Bishop C.C. Owens to be the superintendent for years. I was raised part of my life in that church. I was raised part of my life in the Greater Holy Temple. Then after C.C. Owens, my beloved father was the district superintendent. He was a fire starter. Amen. And I just tried to do it a little bit. But after that, uh, uh, my predecessor, Superintendent Woodrow Hinton, who is here, amen, he was, amen, uh, the superintendent. And now I serve in a place that I am very familiar with uh, because I've been, as my mother said on last night, I've been in Southern Illinois all my life. 60 plus years and uh, God delay is coming for me or for all of us I'm not coming I'm not going anywhere uh, but the Southern Illinois Church of God in Christ I wish I had some folks that know how to give God some praise I'm thankful because it's been two years since we've been together I remember being in New York in March of uh, 2020 and uh, I came back home, got sick with COVID, and not only that, but quite a few members at uh, the church got sick, amen. We lost a deacon at the church. I lost some of those family friends that I went to be with in New York. But in, sp in spite of all the pain, I yet praise God. <laughs> Southern Illinois has lost some folks. I yet praise God. Is there anybody that in your pain, in your pain, you yet praise God? We're standing on the shoulders of giants, but yet I bless you in all things. In everything, we give thanks. So I thank God for the Lakeshore District. Amen. Lakeshore District, the oldest district in the Southern Illinois. Mother Martin is not here, but our beloved uh, supervisor Emeritus is here. Th thank God for our bishop who, who has come in the room. He has appointed me to this position. And Bishop, I, I'm not polished like some of these others, but I promise you I'm going to do you right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I, I, I'm just going to do him right because he stands in for us. So thank God for Mother Perkett who is our, our supervisor Emeritus. Thank God for our lovely uh, first lady of the jurisdiction. She look good over there, don't she? Amen. I thank God that Elder Curtis Lott, who serves with us in this district, 
Amen. And uh, we, we're going to ask Elder Lot to come, and after that, we will be in the hands of Superintendent Lennox again. Come on, Elder Lot, and say hello. Didn't have to do it, but he did. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Well, he woke me up this morning, started me on my way. Didn't have to do it, but he did. Come on, help me out. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Yes, he didn't have to do it, but he did. Well, he woke me up this morning, started me on my way. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Come on, wave your hands. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Well, he didn't have to do it, but he did. Yes, he woke me up this morning, started me on my way. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Come on, tell the Lord thank you. Just tell the Lord thank you. Amen. We do honor God today, tonight, to the Lord and to our bishop and his staff and to the first lady and uh, all those that are present on today, especially my wife. We thank God for being, amen, in the house of the Lord, yet saved, sanctified, and filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. That's my testimony on tonight is that he didn't have to do it. Okay, let me forget. I forget my superintendent. Amen. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Woke me up this morning, and he started me on my way. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Amen. I want to thank God for being in the, uh, in the district and working with Ella Perquette. He's been a fine leader and doing what he's supposed to do. And I thank God that I know for myself, do you know for yourself, that he didn't have to do it. But he did. He woke us up this morning. I'm going to tell you, there was one time not too long ago, I didn't wake up. I was in the hospital, suffered a stroke. My whole right side, I couldn't move. But look what God has done. Look what God has done. I can wave my hand. I can walk. I can stand up. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Hey! Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. That's just some of the story. That wasn't the whole story. While I was in the hospital, I had lunch. After lunch, I didn't feel so good. I saw that, I thought to myself, something's wrong. I went to try to stand up, and I fell out. For about 15 long minutes, I didn't even know I was in the world. I woke up that morning. There was 10 people standing around me, and they told me, we almost lost you. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Woke me up, started me on my way. I didn't think I could preach anymore, but God gave me my voice back. He didn't have to do it. everybody I just think we just need to release a Shabbat praise in here come on Shabbat to the Lord come on just release that praise victoriously we claim that he did hallelujah Praise the Lord. Amen. We're getting ready to continue our worship, listening to, and praising the Lord with our jurisdictional music department, our own, amen, and the Steve, Pastor Stephen Robinson is in the house, amen, and the, 
Come on, praise the Lord. I tell you, God sends the music, puts them in the front, and then the walls come tumbling down. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. We're praising the Lord for them and giving them that opportunity to get in place. I mean, after we receive the ministry of our jurisdictional music department, then we are going to hear the word of God from our own minister, Daryl Abernathy, coming with the inspirational sermonette. Amen. So after our music department finishes, then he will come and deliver the word that the Lord has given to him. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Now check this out. Pastor Lot just told a testimony about him having a stroke. I think that's what I heard. Did y'all hear the same thing? Did y'all hear him say he couldn't move that whole right hand? That he was just moving his right hand just a moment ago? And we just gonna look at that, huh? Anybody know that God is still a great healer? That God is a deliverer? Listen, we're just going to sing a, a simple song that says that God is great. Somebody lift your head toward heaven and say, great is the Lord. Come on, if you know that he's great, come on, let it go beyond your mask and say, great is the Lord. If you know that God is great, give God a great praise right there. If you know it with us, help us. We're going to sing this together as a family. We're going to sing as a family. He has never failed. He has never failed me yet. Through all, through all my trials and tribulations, he will be there. But that Come on. Come on. You may as well go up. Say, great is the Lord. Come on. You got to sing tonight. Through all my trials, through all my trials, uh -huh. the greatest one. Yeah. If you're thankful for surviving the pandemic, say, Great is, great is the Lord. My conqueror, he has never failed. Through all my trials, Let's take it up a little high. Come on, lift your voice and say, Great is great, great. Say, He has never failed. That's it. Come on. Through all my trials, the greatest one, He's God. Lady Rhonda, we're excited. We're taking her. Wait, wait, yeah. We praise God. Come on, clap those hands. Tell me it. Through all my trials. Say. He's God. Stay right there. Hold up. Just one second. Do me a favor. Anybody, anybody in the room, any of you have COVID? Anybody ever, any of you ever have to go and deal with COVID? Any COVID survivors in the room right now? Let me see your hands. If you had COVID, if you had to deal with the respiratory issues and all of the craziness that came with COVID, if you know someone that died because they had COVID, let me see your hands. If you lost a loved one because of COVID, let me see your hands. And so despite losing a loved one, 
despite having COVID yourself, you're still here. And because of that, I want you to lift your voice as loud as you can as we take it high and say, great is, say, great You sing. Come on. It never fail. Yeah. Through all my trial. That's it. Yeah. The greatest. Hallelujah. Come on. We're going to stay right there. Say, great is, great is the Lord. Come on, clap those hands. Everybody clap. Great is, say, great is the Lord. Come on. If you know he's a great God, lift your voice and say, great. Great is the Lord. Come on. I wish I had some saints in the room that could say, great is, great, great is the Lord. Yeah. Oh, take it up. Great is, great is the Lord. Come on. Give God glory. Great is the Lord. Hallelujah. We give him all the glory and honor. Say, Hallelujah. We say, Great is the Lord. Hallelujah. My strong, my redeemer. My redeemer. He's the greatest. Great is the Lord. Great. Hallelujah. You better play those words. My strong tower. He's the greatest. Great is the Lord. Hallelujah. Everybody, he's my savior. He's the greatest. Great is the Lord. Come on, clap those hands. Everybody say, my redeemer. My strong, my strong tower. He's my savior. He's my savior. He's my savior. Great is he. Great. Great is the Lord. Everybody say great is. Everybody great is. Oh, great is. Lift your voice and say great. Everybody say great. I can't hear you, Matthew. Great oh, say great. great is the Lord. You say. Great is the Lord. Hear the bird say. Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord. Oh, say great is the Lord. Give him a great praise. Give God glory. I mean, you know the Lord is great. Well, we honor God on tonight, my Lord and Savior. We honor our bishop on tonight, Bishop Patterson. Let's give a bishop a hand. I honor my own pastor, Dr. Frazier Funches. Hallelujah. And I honor all the, the cabinets, um, the mothers, emeritus, and uh, Mother Porter, I believe it is. And I certainly, last but not least, I honor my wife for 38 years next month. Sister Gloria, and wave your hand for me. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I'll make the darkness light before you. What is wrong, I'll make it right before you. All your battles I will fight before you. And the high place, the Lord said, I'll bring down. When thou walkest by the way, I'll lead you. On the fatness of the land, I'll feed you. With a mansion in the sky, I'll deed you and the high place. The Lord said, I'll, I'll bring it down. When I walk it by the way, I'll lead you. On the fatness of the land, the Lord said, I'll feed you. 
with a mansion in the sky. I'll teach you and the high place. The Lord said, I'll bring down. 2 Corinthians 1 and 20. For all the promises of God in him are yea, and in him, amen. By us for the glory of God. One verse we would like to use for a subject tonight, standing on the promises of God. Hallelujah. Typically, when we think of standing, we envision a non-seated position. Standing tall is what we were taught to do by our parents, our teachers, our loved ones, and well-wishers. For it's a term of endearment. To stand tall sometimes mean to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. It sometimes mean to stand ye therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free. In layman terms, it means to endure. To endure even hardships as a good soldier. After having done all to stand, stand. And because we are standing on the promises of Jesus, there's really no reason to worry or to fret. He is really the only ultimate and unwavering promise keeper. He's unmutable. He cannot lie. If he said it, stand on it. Trust him to deliver every promise that he has made. The songwriter said, if you trust him and never doubt, he will surely bring you out. The Lord has given us some promises in the book of Matthew, the fifth chapter. If you read five through nine, Jesus gave some really good promises for us. He said, blessed are the meek. He said, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. I believe when we find ourselves sometimes feeling like we're not really obtaining the mercy that we want sometimes. Maybe we need to show some mercy. Hallelujah. Show some mercy in that area. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Making peace is not just keeping peace. A peacemaker has a very difficult task. We see the war going over in, on in Ukraine right now, and everybody's looking at what's going on. But there's no peacemakers. There's not anyone that has been able so far to step up and make peace. For they shall be called the children of God. So these are some of the promises that the Lord has given us. Now, when we think about these wonderful promises that the Lord has given us, we also have to take in mind that every promise that Jesus made wasn't always uh, favorable. It wasn't always peaches and creamy because he warned us in John, the 10th chapter and the 10th verse that the thief cometh, not but to steal, kill and destroy. He's a criminal. But Jesus said, I am come that they, you might have life and that they may have it more abundantly. In our Savior is ab abundant life. He's our comforter. So when we talk about abundant life, we talk about Jesus as a deliverer. He's our provider, our protector. He's your promise keeper. And he's your healer. So what we know that John 10 and 10 tells us, the thief cometh. And then it tells us, Jesus said, I am come. So my question for you is, what did you come to do? <laughs> huh? 
Hallelujah. Well, it's time to reciprocate the Lord's blessings on our life. It's time to love him. It's time to love him back. Love the Lord with all thy heart, thy mind, and thy soul, and thy strength. Praise him with your hands. Praise him with the, the, the fruit of your lips. But let everything give God praise tonight because it's time to reciprocate. The thief cometh, but the kill still and destroy. Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and you might have it more abundantly. My question is, it still remains the same. What did you come to do? Did anybody come to give him praise? Did anybody come to lift him up? Sometimes we the loudest screamers in the church. But if you really want God to get praise out of your life, learn how to obey the Lord. He said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. I believe it's time for me to take my seat. But I just got one word to say. It's time to reciprocate. It's time to give the Lord the praise that he deserves. Can our praise match his love? Can our love match his love? It's time to love God like never before. So we're standing on the promises of Jesus. And I believe he'll do just what he said because he's not a man that he should lie because he's not able to keep his promises. He's a promise keeper. And we trust and believe him on tonight. Let the church say amen. Come on, let's praise the Lord. <laughs> praise him for his promises. He's a promise keeper. And we stand on and in the promises of the Lord. Praise his holy name. We also praise the Lord for, amen, Minister Abernathy. And we praise the Lord for our own jurisdictional choir. Amen. Great is the Lord. To, to just make that note that as we celebrate this 75th year of existence for our jurisdiction, and then that song, Great is the Lord, was written by one of our ministers of music of the Southern Illinois jurisdiction, Deacon Kelvin Lennox. He always liked to put that deacon on there. Praise the Lord. We're going to have a lot of times of remembrance and reminiscing over for these 75 years. Praise the Lord. We're going to call on to introduce the our supervisor designate. We're going to call on District Missionary Cox from New Haven District, and she will present our own mother, Alberta Porter. Let's say amen for her.
poor in God. I am just poor. You all know we draw strength from each other. We do. We really do. So we thank God. We thank, give honor to our bishop on tonight. Hallelujah. Ah, glory to God, our first lady of the state. Amen. Mother Perkett, all the saints of God, we do honor you. So we thank God for this beautiful young lady in blue. Hallelujah. That's my favorite color. We thank God for her. The Lord has elevated her. And we are so grateful on tonight for her. Amen. We thank God for your mother, Porter. Amen. So at this time, we want you all to stand all over your feet. Amen. As we present, amen, mother, amen, Al uh, Alberta, <laughs> Alberta Porter Desiney, your supervisor. Bishop tonight, amen, to our First Lady, we're glad to have First Lady with us tonight, amen, thank and praise the Lord for Mother Cox, amen, praise the Lord for you Mother Cox, amen, for Mother Perkett, our mothers for life, <laughs> amen, we honor and praise the Lord for all of the women, our First Lady, Mother Funches, amen, to all of the saints of the Lord, I can just call and name it, name it, name. I do praise the Lord for all of the uh, administrative assistants and for all of the elders. I praise God for our 75th workers meeting. Amen. They said it wouldn't be done, but we praise God that we are all together one more time. Amen. Praise God. For the last two years, we've been separated. We've had our little uh, Zooms and our little meetings on the phone, but I thank and praise the Lord we're in person one more time. Amen. And we praise God for being in another workers meeting. Amen. I thank God for how he blessed us to come over the highway and blessed us safely to get here. Amen. It looked like everybody tried to get in our way. Uh, trucks tried to run over us, but I thank God that he spared our lives. Amen. Has brought us back together with one accord in one accord. Amen. I just honor and praise the Lord for his goodness. Amen. I thank God for the service that we have had on this week. Amen. Everybody, it was, seems like we've been all glad to get together. Amen. And this is what Southern is. Southern has a, is a very closely knitted family. Amen. And, and I praise God for bringing our family back together for us one more time. Amen. And I just thank God for all of your goodness, good people. Amen. I just thank and praise the Lord. I feel so good. I'm like Mother Cox. I feel good tonight. Amen. And I praise the Lord for his goodness. I desire you all to pray for me. Pray the, that the will of the Lord be done in my life and I'll be found doing his will. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. I just, I don't think we can praise the Lord enough. Amen. Amen. So, that's it. So, hallelujah. Oh. <laughs> praise God. We're going to, our next uh, presenter, he's, we're going to call him to do double duty. I mean, first we're going to call on Superintendent Sutton to represent his district, New Haven District. And then after he finishes all the things he wants to do or sing or say, then he will present to us our own jurisdictional prelate, Bishop Embraer Patterson, Jr. But let's say amen for Superintendent Sutton at this time, New Haven District.
soul to his hand. God's unchanging hand. Oh, to his hand. God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Oh, to God's unchanging hand. Come on, everybody, tell the Lord thank you. Come on, give God some praise, everybody. Come on, give God some praise, everybody. We thank the Lord. We give honor to our own bishop. Praise the Lord, our first administrator, to all the superintendents, and especially to our own mother. Praise the Lord, Sister Mother Paquette, and to our designee, praise the Lord, Sister Porter. We thank the Lord for another opportunity to come before you, praise the Lord, in a way that we never thought that we would have to do it this way. But God knew all the time what was going to happen. And so we had nothing new to God. That's why these eagles said, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. The word of God tells us there is nothing new under the sun. We thank the Lord for New Haven District. Thank the Lord for how God has blessed the New Haven District to be a part of this jurisdiction. And we said to the bishop and to the designated mother, praise the Lord, that we will do and we are going to do everything we can to carry you up and not bring you down. Somebody ought to tell the Lord, thank you. We thank the Lord for all our workers and our district, praise the Lord. I, I kind of noticed, praise the Lord, all of those that is old and been there a long time. Old, praise the Lord. But I want you to know, I ain't been there that long, but I'm the oldest one among the bunch. And I thank the Lord for getting old. <laughs> we thank the Lord we're not going to detain you long. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. My own son working with the uh, YP. We're going to ask him to come. Praise the Lord to have a word. Praise the Lord working with the YP. A lot of folks say, you're my backbone, but that's my right arm. Praise the Lord, man whole lot I would not be able to do if it was not for him. And after that, he, uh, praise the Lord, while he's coming, praise right, right behind him, we're going to have our own, praise the Lord, district missionary cop to come and present however the Lord have her to do. Praise the Lord. Let, let, just, just all the New Haven district that are here tonight, stand. Just stand on your feet. Just stand. All the New Haven district, just stand. Just stand. Come on, just stand. Come on, come on, tell the Lord, thank you. Praise the Lord. You may be seated right behind me. Praise the Lord, I get it. Praise the Lord, do whatever they tell you to do. Come on, give God a praise, you all. Come on, give God a praise. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. We thank and praise God. Hallelujah. Just give y'all a little identification. I'm saved. I'm sanctified. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. And I'm up here because my pastor called me up here. Hallelujah. We thank and praise God. As they say, the house has been addressed. Hallelujah. I'm learning protocol. But I thank and praise God at the fact that we're able to come back together. And, 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 and uh, Pastor Lott, and so many people talk about what God brought them out of. What God, you know, I, I went through this and I went through that. I, I, I did this and I did that. And we as a church, we get happy and we get excited. But have y'all ever thought about not only can God bring you out, but God can keep you? Hey, glory. God can keep you. You say, what do you mean by that? I ain't been sick. That don't mean nothing to y'all, huh? <laughs> I ain't had the cold. I get up every day and go to work. All through the grace and the mercy of God. And I'm not saying that because of what somebody else did or what went through somebody else went through. I'm saying that to say that God can keep you no matter what's happening. No matter what it looks like, God can keep you. All we got to do is hold to his hand. 
Just hold on to his hand. And I want you to know that God can keep you. I thank and praise God for my superintendent giving me this opportunity. I thank and praise God for, for, for my father. Uh -huh. He's still like that too. I praise God for my father. Hallelujah. That God is keeping him and allowing him to go. And in fact, when I even try to help him in some situation, he get mad. So y'all pray for me. Y'all pray for me. Because he gets mad. But I thank God, and I'm, I'm, I'm sitting down. But I thank God because we're doing some work at the church. And I be trying all I can to get somebody else to do it. And I look up, and he up on the ladder. We working on some speakers. I look up and he done took the speakers down and gone with them. I thank God for them. Y'all remember, and I'm sitting down. Y'all remember when I said, God can keep you? Come on, give, give, give God a praise on behalf of that. I thank God. And it might not mean much to y'all, but he's 89. 89. I give God the glory. Remember, if you don't remember nothing else, God can keep you. He said, I will not put all these diseases upon you that I put upon them. If you just keep my word. We thank and praise God. Missionary Cox. Yeah, there's a dance in the house. say a dancing church is a victorious church. That's his name. Hey Amen. Before we bring our bishop to you, we are going to present the first lady of our jurisdiction. Hey amen. Our own Mother Leatrice Patterson. Let's say amen. Hallelujah. We give honor to God, amen, to our Freeling, and to his cabinet, 
and the man and to our conductor of service tonight, our own Superintendent Lenar, to our mother Perkant, amen, our mom is in the building. We thank God for our, our um, supervisor designee, Mother Porter. We praise God for all of you saints. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to see you all. Oh, how happy I am to see you all. Hallelujah. It's been two and a half years, but I'm looking around the room at faces I haven't seen in quite a while. But thanks be to God, he has brought us together one more time. Many of us have shed tears in these two and a half years, but to God be the glory, we have made it through. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. The blood still works. Glory to God. It still covers his people. Even when we had to go through trials and tribulations. But oh, my Savior, he still covers us. Hey, thank you. Hey, I am reciprocating. By <laughs> ah, the goodness of the Lord. He's been real good to me. <laughs> and I can't help but praise him. Can't help but give him glory. I'm not your traditional first lady. You know, when, when, when Bishop became a uh, bishop, I, I was feeling kind of lost. I didn't know what I could do anymore. <laughs> I didn't know if I could still praise God and let God have his way with me. Hey, I didn't know if I could still use my gifts anymore. But oh, one night, one night, the Lord visited me. He said, I put it in you. And it ain't about him being the bishop. It's about me being God. Yes. Hey, glory. Hey. Hey. Well, there's a little praise on the inside, and I'm going to sing just this little, little bit of it. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Well, I'm glad to be here. So glad to be here. I'm glad in my soul to be here. Oh, yes, I'm glad to be here. Hey, so glad to be here. Well, I'm glad in my soul to be here. But maybe you're not as glad as I am, but I'm thanking the Lord. I thank the Lord that I'm here. I thank the Lord that I'm here. I thank the Lord in my soul to be here. Yeah, yeah, I thank the Lord to be here. I thank God that I'm here. I thank the Lord down in my soul to be here. Well, let's praise the Lord. Now, Southern, we know for praising God. I don't, you know, I thank God for Southern Illinois ecclesiastical jurisdiction because when we get together, we have church. It's not about protocol. It is not about who you call it, but it's about God having his way. And we have been to, haven't been together, so everybody ought to be jumping. Everybody ought to be praising God. Hey, 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 hey. Everybody ought to be lifting their hands. You ought to be excited about Jesus. Hey, praise him. Come on, son. We've been blessed. We've been brought through and over. God's been real, real good to us. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Now, he told me to have words. He didn't tell me to act up. Praise the Lord. But I feel good down in my soul. I ask that you pray for me. Pray for us as we travel back over the highways. You know, it's good to have prayer when we're traveling. I was looking at a post that Brother uh, Lee posted this morning. Praise the Lord. On his way, he's been in the meetings all week except tonight. But he was on his way to St. Louis. Praise the Lord. And when he got just about uh, on the highway, he ran into an accident where the car was on fire. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If he got there a little sooner, he probably would have been in the accident. 
the choir was on the car was on fire and there was an individual in the car but oh praise God I thank God because God is still good hallelujah thank you Jesus it could have been you it could have been me but oh praise the Lord the Lord didn't see fit to let it be so thank you Jesus Adelina, you can have the mic back. Praise God, I'm going to be good. Pray for me that I'll be what the daughter of the Lord is calling for. Put your hands together and praise it. Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Glory to God. It is time now to hear the voice of the greatest bishop in the church of God in Christ. Put your hands in this direction and say, God bless the people's bishop. Let's receive Bishop E.R. Patterson. and for your tender mercy. We thank you, God, for all you've done for us. Down through the years, you've blessed our going and our coming. You've blessed us over the dangerous highways and even the skyways. You've been good to us. You provided every need. You answered our prayers. You healed our bodies. You gave us the desires of our heart. We thank you, and we dare not ask you for anything before we thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your merciful kindness. Thank you for your outstretched arms of protection. Thank you for your grace. For your grace is sufficient for us. Thank you for allowing us to be here. You've assembled us once again. You kept us, oh God, and we thank you. Now, Lord, look on these who have come. Bless everyone here under the sound of my voice. Bless those who are viewing online. Bless those who are streaming. Father, we need you to lead us and guide us and direct us in everything that we do and say. We thank you for what you've already done, but we're thanking you what you're doing now. And we thank you what you're going to do. We put our trust in you. We know we're living in terrible times. We know perilous times are here. But you promised to be with us. You said you'd never leave us nor forsake us. We put our trust in you. We're standing on the foundation that you laid. And we thank you, Lord. Now have your way with us as we continue to do your will. Bind every enemy. 
rebuke the devil everywhere in the name of Jesus. Look on those souls who are in harm's way overseas and even in our country. Lord, look on everyone. You said all souls belong to you. Lord, bless, spare, save, I pray, in the name of Jesus. Save in the White House. Save in the Dark House. Save everywhere, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. And we say hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah is the highest praise. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Bless your wonderful name. Bless your wonderful name. Your name is great. You're greatly to be praised. There's none like you anywhere. You're the greatest everywhere. You're everywhere all at the same time. You're good to us. Even when we weren't good to ourselves, you were good to us. Hallelujah. We thank you tonight. Thank you, Lord. Bless us, oh God. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank God. And amen. Hallelujah. You may have your seats. You know, I was thinking about how the Lord has allowed us once again to assemble together and what a blessing it is to assemble together and I realize that we are enduring the finality of the pandemic I believe is going to come to an end and because of the uh, conditions and circumstances and situations of the pandemic, we are not at this particular time assembling in the jurisdiction's totality. But thank God for the northern region. Amen. Amen. I'm here tonight. I... I remember there was a, a mother a long time ago who used to say something, and I thought about it, and uh, she said, when she would testify, she said, I'm, I'm here because I was careful. <laughs> well, I thought about that, and I said, well, I'm not going to argue with her because she's earned the right to say what she want to say, but I'm not here because I was careful. I'm here but by the grace of God. God has allowed us to be here. We're here tonight because God saw fit to wake us up this morning and gave us life, health, and strength and the activities of our limbs. And he gave us the mind, the will, and the opportunity to come out and be in the presence of the Lord on tonight. So I want to applaud all of you and give honor to the God of our salvation and to his son, Jesus Christ, and to the presence of the Holy Ghost. To all of the officers and the officials, the men and women, boys and girls of this great jurisdiction, I want to commend all of you and I want to applaud all of you and I give you all honor. And I thank God for what God is doing, what God has done, and I'm even thanking him in advance what he's going to do. Jesus declared in his word, great works have I done, but greater, greater works shall you do. It didn't mean that we were going to outshine Jesus. You can't outshine Jesus. Jesus has been everywhere all the time. He was at the beginning. Somebody say he was at the first. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among men. We can't outdo Jesus. Why would he say, great works have I done, but greater works shall you do? Well, I really don't know, but I can suspect in my spiritual imagination I have the right to do that because I got the might. And Jesus was only here for about 33 years, wasn't he? And the Bible said these works are done so that you might believe. But many of us are beyond 33 years, aren't we? 
many of us have reached twice that age, and some have even gone further. So I think, in my spiritual imagination, Jesus might have been saying, you're going to have longer to do what I did and more. Because he said, I'm going to send you another comforter who shall lead you and guide you into all truth. I'm not going to leave you comfortless. He said, I'm going to give you the comforter that's going to allow you to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. If you drink any deadly poison, it shall not hurt you. He said, this is what, you, this is what you're going to do. I heal the sick, I raise the dead, but guess what? The same spirit that I have, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to send it back to you. So we can't outdo Jesus. I remember our first administrative assistant and regional administrator said one time from the scripture, oh, let us magnify the Lord. Come on. Oh, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. He said that uh, you can't. Uh, really make God any bigger. You can't make Jesus any grander. He said, well, what did he say when you're talking about, oh, magnify the Lord with me? Magnify means to make bigger. Uh, some of us use magnifying glasses. I got them on right now. They're called trifocals. And, 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 and when it comes down to short vision, I need some help. I need some magnification. Now, guess what that does? It doesn't make the letters bigger because the letters are what they are. The words are what they are. But guess what? I see it bigger. I didn't make it bigger. I just see it bigger. I thought about Dr. Funches. He said, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name forever. So when we magnify the Lord, we are projecting him bigger than what the folk really see. Am I right? I dare you to try to make God bigger. You can't make Jesus no bigger than he is. He's already big enough. <laughs> but we can magnify the Lord. Tell him about those testimonies that how the Lord brought me from a mighty long way. I can give you my personal testimony. The Lord brought me through I-94 North and 290 East. Can I get a testimony? <laughs> Can I get a witness? I want to say this. I respect you all who live in Chicago. I really do. I like y'all a lot. I know that it takes a special anointing to drive the streets of Chicago. <laughs> Give yourselves a hand. <laughs> Lord have mercy. It will either humble you or make you angry. One or the other. You will not be the same. <laughs> Thank God. I'm glad to be here on tonight. And I want to say that tonight is a great night. Tonight is the final night of our workers meeting. And we have our first administrative assistant and the northern regional administrator who's going to bring to us the word of the Lord on tonight. I want to give honor specifically to the first administrative assistant who coordinates the northern region. I want to give honor to our state supervisor who has been declared emerite but tonight, I'm going to officially declare her a merite. Amen. Now, if I mispronounce that, y'all know what I meant. I, merite, a meritai, a merite, she is where she is. She's our great state emeritus supervi supervisor, and we love her. And she has resigned from the office, but she has not resigned from the work of the Lord. And I thank God for that. 
and I want to acknowledge and give respect to the supervisor designee on tonight. <laughs> Mother Porter. Mother Porter served faithfully in this jurisdiction and she served faithfully to Mother Perquette. Yeah. And I want you to know that uh, promotion comes from neither east nor west nor south, but God promotes. God promotes. And the Lord has blessed Mother Porter for her faithfulness and for her loyalty to the jurisdiction and dedication. She came highly recommended, and I accepted the recommendation from many. And we thank God for you, Mother Porter. And we are going to help you be a success. We're going to help you. Because guess what? When you look good, I look good. And when the jurisdiction looks good, we look good, don't we? Amen. And nobody trying to look good. When you got that name C-O-G-I-C behind your name or behind your church, guess what? All of us are included. And when you look good in the northern region, we look good in the southern region. And when the southern region looks good, the central region looks good. And when all of the jurisdictions from every region looks good, we all look good. Amen. And I'm not talking about in personal appearance. I'm talking about in action and work, work, and in deeds. So I thank God for what God is doing. And I thank God for my wife. <laughs> Lady Patterson. Thank God for her. The pandemic has had an effect on all of us, but we're still here, aren't we? We're still here, and the Lord is still blessing us, and I thank God for what God is doing. I believe that uh, our state secretary, jurisdictional secretary is here, and uh, I'm going to ask him to come and uh, bring a package with him. We, we, we have time. I'm not going to take all the time, but since I got the mic, I might as well take good use of my time. We have stated that we are going to emeritize Mother Perquette. We did not do it officially because we were waiting. Somebody said waiting. You can't hear it, God. You just got to wait. We were waiting on the jurisdiction to do what we had asked, and the jurisdiction has responded in doing what I asked, and we want to ask Mother Perquette if she would come forth at this particular time. Help her up, somebody. We're going to bring her right up here on the, on the uh, podium. Yes. Yeah. Somebody said, thank God for Mother Perquette. I've had the privilege of working with Mother Perquette for a long time. Come on up. I ain't, ain't going to hurt you. God bless you, Mother Perquette. We love you. I'm going to ask uh, Elder Adrian, who is our jurisdictional secretary, to uh, show folk this, and then I want you to read it. I want you to know something. A uh, picture says a thousand words. You can say, I love you, but uh, a picture says a thousand words. Elder Adrian, would you? God bless you, Bishop Patterson. And God bless you, Supervisor Emerita. Supervisor Emerita, Mother Yvonne Yael Perquet affectionately known as the world's greatest jurisdictional supervisor. Your wisdom enriched us. Your words edified us. Your works won't be lost. 
in honor and special recognition of your illustrious 14-year tenure as our celebrated jurisdictional supervisor, Bishop Embro Robert Patterson, Jr., along with the members of Southern Illinois Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, commemorate your life, your ministry, and your unparalleled service. We extend to you our sincere gratitude and prayers for an enjoyable retirement. Done this 25th day of March, 2022, in the year of our Lord, during the 75th setting of the Ministers and Workers Meeting of Southern Illinois Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, by the order of the Bishop, Bishop Ember R. Patterson, Jr. Jurisdictional Prelate, Elder Adrian H. Patterson, Senior Jurisdictional Secretary. I'd like, I'd like for all of the Southern Illinois Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction to stand. We are standing on the shoulders of giants. Now, this is a living giant. Mother Perquette, we love you. Thank God for you. And let me say this, since I got the mic. I wanted to do something special. And I asked the jurisdiction to work with me on that. And the jurisdiction responded. We did not want to say, Mother, you are emeritized without giving you some type of love token. And the Lord has blessed the jurisdiction to give you the psalm of And we want to present this to you. Illinois Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. We love you. And now, and now, y'all remember that Haynes commercial? When they say they don't say Haynes until I say they say Haynes. You ain't officially emeritized until I say so. Now you are officially emeritized and we give you the love token. Amen. Let's say amen for mother. I gotta hug you. <laughs> All the glory, the honor, the praises all day, they belong to they belong to They belong to God. All the glory, the honor, the praises, all they belong to. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Truly, truly, please be seated. Truly, I thank God for all that the Lord has done for me down through the years. I thank God for my bishop. I thank God for the administrative assistance. I thank God for Bishop Eliezer Lennox. <laughs> Thank God, I thank God, I thank God. I thank God for my husband who is with the Lord waiting for me. Over 50 some years, he brought me to the Southern Illinois jurisdiction in 1956. And truly, it was a good thing. I've been with Southern Illinois, never had a mind to go anywhere else, Bishop. I thank God for the administrators that have led me. Mother Ruth Stanton put me to work as a secretary of the women's department. 
And it went from one thing to another, but I've been working. Before I came to Chicago, I was working. Saved at 16 years of age. The Lord saved me. And I was working with my bishop in Memphis, Tennessee, Bishop A.B. McEwen. I've been working a long time for the Lord. And I have enjoyed working for the Lord. I don't intend to stop. I don't intend as long as the Lord give me breath. I do thank God I wasn't expecting this, Bishop. I know, I know. Elder Adrian, Elder Ministers, to the women of Southern Illinois, to the, the cream of the crop. The cream of it has been a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful job experience working with the women of Southern Illinois. They have faithfully, faithfully did everything that we were asked to do. We never came up short. But Bishop, I must say, the Lord has given us another, another beautiful, beautiful woman that loved the Lord with all of her heart, loved the church with all of her heart, She's not a novice because everywhere I went, almost she was right with me. Mother Porter has been faithful. She will, be. you see these beautiful flowers up here. I expect Southern Illinois women especially to blossom even more beautiful under the leadership of our new leader. I am so thankful. I love her with all of my heart. And I'm praying that the Lord would take us higher. As long as I'm alive, I'll be working faithfully with my bishop, with my pastor, and the work that the Lord would have us to do. My beautiful first lady. A beautiful first lady. I thank God for Mother Leatrice. <laughs> love the Lord, love her husband, and love all of us. Thank you, bishop. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Southern Illinois. I'm still Southern Illinois. Amen. Hey, let's say amen for Mother Perquette. We, uh, I remember when I first came to Southern Illinois jurisdiction, uh, I came to Greater Holy Temple, and I saw on the back wall the Love Family. Y'all didn't think y'all thought I forgot about that, didn't you? I, I said the Love Family, and that was under the direction of our founder and first organizer, Bishop Eliezer. Lennox, the Lord established us, and we're celebrating 75 years of being established. I want you to know something. If you start out on a firm foundation, the only way it can go is up. Did I get that right? See, if you start out on a firm, solid foundation, you can build up. And I believe the, the foundation of Southern Illinois ecclesiastical jurisdiction has been laid. It started with the Bishop Eliezer Lennox. And I've asked Sister Queenie Lennox, Evangelist Queenie Lennox. I said, I was asking the Lord, I was praying and asking the Lord, I said, Lord, give me how to commemorate the great families, the great giants that we're standing on. And, and Lord, I want to have, I want a book of remembrance. This is 75 years. Now, I want y'all to know, I'm not going to be here another 75 years, probably another 45, 50, but maybe not no 75 years. There'll never be another 75 years for me. And 
I said, we want to make this a diamond jubilee year of remembrance. So I called Sister Queenie. I said, Sister Queenie, I want you to do something for me. I really want you to. And first of all, she was committed to her local church. She said, I'll do whatever I can, but you know, this is our anniversary this year, too. I said, I, said, I, I understand. She said, but uh, whatever I can do, I'll do it. I said, I want you to chair the committee to commemorate this year in a commemorative souvenir manual, a booklet. And she said, well, Bishop, I'll do whatever I can. <clears throat> Thank God for what she is doing. And I asked Superintendent Perquette, who is our program chairman for the jurisdiction, I asked him, would you co-chair this endeavor? And I believe many of you, if not all of you, have received correspondence from this committee. And I want to encourage you to work with the direction of the chair and the co-chair, Evangelist Queenie Lennox and Superintendent Perquet. I want you to work with them. We want to, and they've decided, I'm not going to go into detail, but they've decided to make a book, four chapters. And uh, I'll let them go into detail on that. I tell you what, I, I y'all ought to pat me on the back for getting the right folk. Y'all ought to say amen, Bishop, you got the right folk. <laughs> we got the right folk. And I want you to know I'm thankful for what the Lord is going to do. It's going to culminate in the July convocation. It has yet to be determined if we're going to be in person or virtual. We are planning, we're hoping that it's going to be in person. That is our desire. We would like very much for it to be in person so that we can come together in person and share the Lord and the corporate setting and uh, the Lord to grace us this 75 years. Uh, but that has yet to be determined depending upon this, that, and the other. But we're planning, we're hoping that we are going to be in person in our July convocation. And please work with the chairperson and the co-chairperson of this committee. And many of you have been selected to be on this committee. Please take your job and do your job responsibly. And I have no doubt in my mind it is going to be a monumental success. We are expecting at least 75 pages commemorating 75 years. We are expecting no, a minimum of at least 75 pictures to commemorate 75 years. 75 is a number that some have made and others are heading toward. We're thankful for what God is doing. Thank you, Sister Queenie Lennox, for accepting this responsibility, and we're going to work with you. Superintendent Perquette, thank you for accepting this responsibility, and we're going to work with you. You see, if you're successful, we're successful. And I want you to know something. We can make folks successful. Every one of you. Every one of you has the ability within you to be great. Everyone has the potential. Guess who makes us great? God makes us great. We can be great. Greatness is in us. You got the Holy Ghost, don't you? What's, what's insignificant? What is, 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 is nominal about the Holy Ghost? Nothing. Everything about the Holy Ghost is great. And he said, I believe the Bible is right. Jesus said, great works have I done, but greater works shall you do. We have an opportunity to do a great work to show the world, not the world, but the United States. Well, maybe the world. We got Facebook now, and we got, we got YouTube, and who knows where we're being seen. Maybe we can show the world how great a foundation we have 
in the Southern Illinois ecclesiastical jurisdiction. We are standing on the shoulders of giants. And every one of us in here have a story to tell. Write your book. I'm going to sit down. I've taken enough time. Thank God for you. We have a great speaker tonight, Dr. Funches. Dr. Funches. He needs no introduction. We just present him. You know him. Businessman, man of the cloth, going to school, been married for a long time, to the same wife for a long time, loves the Lord, is doing a great work. We're in this edifice today because tonight because of the work of him and the Lord leading him and the congregation being here. Let's say amen for what the Lord is doing. He's a great preacher, and he assists me along with others, but he is the regional administrative assistant for the northern region. As someone said, we can't be everywhere at the same time. We are a large jurisdiction. We're the only jurisdiction in the state of Illinois that literally covers the length of Illinois from the uppermost church in the Chicago area to the southernmost church in the Cairo area. The distance is almost 500 miles. We cover the length of Illinois. At one time, we covered the length and the breadth of Illinois. But we, you know what I, and I, 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 I have a tendency to brag a little bit when I get in the board of bishops, I say, well, we don't have to be the biggest, but we can certainly be the best. And we are the only jurisdiction, and I say that very carefully, but very emphatically. We are the only jurisdiction in the state of Illinois that geographically covers the entire state of Illinois. Look at that person next to you and say, guess who you're talking about? You're talking about you. God bless you. Dr. Funch is going to speak to us when the time comes, but I've taken up enough time. But guess what? I got the mic. I'm going to give up the mic. I'm going to make y'all happy twice. God bless you all. Pray for me. Pray for me and my wife as we get back on Interstate 290. And 294, I'm hoping that the Lord will have said something by then to settle things down so that we can take our passageway down to that little abode in Peoria, Illinois, and say, the Lord has brought us again. <laughs> Once again, he's brought us through dangers, seen and unseen dangers. God bless you all. Back into the hands of the Oh, yes. Uh, by the way, uh, we also have a church in Missouri. Yes. Uh, my wife, thank you, babe. Uh, just a couple, well, just last Sunday, we dedicated a church in Missouri. The Lord has blessed us to extend our boundaries. We are in Missouri, a suburb of St. Louis. And uh, I don't, I'm not going to be premature, but, but more is to come. And it might not be south. That's all I'm going to say at this time. God bless you. Who do I give it to? Y'all pray for me that I don't take as much time next time.
Praise God. Praise God for our bishop. Amen. We're going to, to call on Elder Porter so to bring us the ministry of giving. Amen. It, after that time. And at some point then, we will also have observations. Praise the Lord. We're so thankful to be here. We give honor to our bishop. And um, I'm thanking God for Dr. Robinson, who's going to come up here. I, I've been in all three regions. And we're so thankful Dr. Robinson is coming. Uh, tonight is the official night, and I want us to be a blessing to our bishop. Uh, we're going to receive the bishops. I'm going to stand down there for the bishop. And then Brother Ricardo, Pastor Nichols, is going to be receiving the general offering. We're going to do it all at one time. The general offering and then the official offering for this service. In the hands of Dr. Robinson. Amen. We, this is the work of meeting. And I, I believe I heard earlier this week that from Superintendent Beck, that we've been at home a long time. <laughs> so I mean that somebody got some extra money tonight because you ain't been giving it. We haven't been coming together. So we ask you, let's give on tonight. Elder Porter is holding the basket for our state prelate. This is the official night of the workers' meeting, even though he gave over to have the administrators to speak during this meeting. Tonight is his night. Yes. It's Bishop's night. We're asking everybody to do your best. Amen? Amen. And we're asking those that can also give a, an expense offering. Pastor Ricardo Nichols is holding that basket. So when you come just one time, just everybody come around and Put something in both baskets, amen? amen? Now, I'm gonna ask the elders, if you can, I know you have given in the office, you made your report in the office, but if you can tonight, this is our official night, and we have given our prelate, our bishop, the title of the people's bishop. So we're gonna show him tonight that we believe that, and we're gonna honor that. So I'm asking every man in the house, if you can, follow me and give $100. Amen. If you can't do it, don't get upset. Do what you can. Amen. But this is the only time. We haven't done this in a long time. We haven't been able to come together. But God has blessed us one more time to come together. Amen. Everyone standing. Everyone standing. Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you, God, for what ha already has been done. We thank you for your people, God, these that are going to give on tonight. We ask you to bless each one for what they're going to give. Oh, God, give, let, bless them 100-fold, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Do it for your glory, and we'll praise you, and we'll magnify you for your goodness and your mercy. In Jesus' name, we pray. Turn to the wall, to the closest wall, and come down, and let's give the Lord. If you're giving via the internet, uh, you're watching the service, you may give on Cash App, uh, dollar sign, S-I-E-J Kojic, C-O-G-I-C, S-I-E-J Kojic, dollar sign. And for Zale, you're giving at S-I-E-J Kojic.org. Amen. Uh, you can give on, the, on our website at 
www.siejkojic.org slash give. Thank you for what you're giving, everyone. Thank you. Our first administrative assistant starting the offering. He gave the offering tonight of $250. Amen. Oh, that's so beautiful, so beautiful. This is our last and official night of the meeting. Thank you for what you're giving. Thank you, thank you for responding on tonight. Don't forget to, if you have not paid your reports for the national and the jurisdiction, do that also tonight. Turn them in to your superintendent or to Dr. Porter or myself on tonight. Amen. We normally end the workers meeting on Sunday, but tonight is the last night, so we need your reports. Both women and men, credential holders, we need your report. Women, if you have it tonight, I can take it to your treasurer and, and secretary on tonight. I can take it to her. Amen. All right. Amen. We thank you for anyone else. Everyone given, thank you for what you have given. We pray that the Lord will continue to bless you. At this time, back in the hands of the giver. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. Now we're going to have our jurisdictional music department come. Amen. Well, first, actually, I, I guess I should hand it to our bishop, and then after he makes the introduction, then the jurisdictional choir will come and render. Let's say amen for Bishop Patterson. Yeah. Amen. I thought I did it but I'm going to do it again. God bless our first administrative assistant, Dr. Funches, regional administrator for the Northern Region, is going to come after the sermonic selection, and he's going to bring to us the word of the Lord. I'm going to ask all of you, when he comes, to please stand and go in his direction. Thank God for what God is doing, the, the musical talent is coming at this time, after which you'll be in the hands of our regional administrator. Let's say amen for them. Thank you. 
Bow your head where you're standing. Gracious God, we thank you tonight. We exalt you, we extol thee. We praise you, Lord, and we glorify you. We honor you, Lord, and we do reverence you in the sanctuary. We give your name all the praise. What a mighty God you are. God, you are great, you are awesome. You're a wonder to behold. Lord, we are so thankful to be in your service tonight. Thank you, Lord, that you've chose us. Blessed is the man whom thou have chosen and called us to approach unto thee. Thank you, Lord, that we are able and privileged just to stand in your presence. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that you've washed us and made us presentable to your Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that you've healed us, redeemed us from the hands of the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that you gave us strength and determination to run up the king's highway. Be steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this setting. Thank you for our great leaders, our bishop, our state supervisor designate, our state supervisor emerite. And all of the leaders of this jurisdiction, thank you for the pillars that hold things up. Thank you for the workers that keeps things moving. Thank you, Lord, for your great anointing that is in this jurisdiction. Down through the years, you've blessed us. Your hand has been upon us from one generation to the next. Hey, God, we've seen your glory. We've seen your salvation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Now, God, look on me as I stand before your people. Allow me to speak with understanding and clarity of speech. Let your anointing rest upon me, Lord, as I sow the seed of your word. And I pray that this is not just a seed, but it is the right seed. And I pray that this seed will find good ground. This we ask in Jesus' name. Somebody help me say, thank God. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. We certainly thank the Lord tonight and honor God for his wonderful, wonderful kindness. How many folk know that the Lord is kind? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you don't know like I know how good the Lord has been. Somebody repeat after me. I'm blessed. Now do something about it. Do something about it. I'm blessed. Everything about me is blessed. Everything I do is blessed. Bless, bless, bless. Look at your neighbors and neighbor. Put that extinguisher down. Don't try to put this fire out. Let this fire burn. I need to be on fire. I haven't been on fire in a long time. Fire, fire, fire. Fire! Holy Ghost fire. All right, God bless you. All right. Y'all sit down. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. Look at your neighbor and say, we'll get back to that in a minute. <laughs> All right. I know that the house has been addressed, but 
I feel that it is my duty to honor the greatest bishop in the Church of God in Christ. Let's honor Bishop Patterson. He's not only a good bishop, he's a great bishop. God-fearing man, humble and wise. And I'm so grateful, amen, that I have the privilege to serve with him. Let's honor the Lord first for our state supervisor, Emeriti. And now let's honor the Lord for our new state supervisor, designee, Mother Alberta Porter. I'm like Elder Burton. Mother Porter is my friend. We've served together for many, many years. And I thank the Lord. Amen. Let's honor God for the first lady of this jurisdiction. Amen. And certainly, I must honor First Lady Sarah. Amen. I would say more, but uh, she's wearing a mask, so you can't see her expression. So, <laughs> so I'll just refrain. <laughs> Thank God for all of these great preachers, all of the great women of God. Clap your hands again for all of the great clergy pastors and superintendents of this jurisdiction. This is a great privilege that, that this is official night. And I said to my bishop, I'd never said this to him before, but I took a risk and said at this time, I said, Bishop, I don't agree with you. <laughs> it took some boldness to say that. But you, you, we honor our bishop and Bishop Funches, I won't say no more. Thank you, Bishop, for this privilege, and we certainly won't be long. The night is far spent, and, and uh, 20 minutes, if, if the Lord would just uh, speak through me for 20 minutes, I will be taking my seat. I, I have something that's not homiletically correct, but I'm going to try it anyway. I have a subject and a sub-subject. First, let's go to the book of Numbers Chapter 13, we're reading just one verse there, verse number 33. And then we're going to Proverbs 27, verse 17. <clears throat> it's so good to be together with the saints again. Can I get a witness? Feels good. It looks good. Sounds good. Amen. This jurisdiction, everybody, everybody carry matches in their pocket. Start a fire from anywhere. <laughs> Cameraman, take off running. Amen. If you have that, say amen. Numbers 13, verse 33. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. And there we saw the giants. All right, let's go to Proverbs 27, verse number 17. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. God bless you. You may be seated. Our subject is giants make giants. That's our subject tonight. Our sub-subject is I want to be a giant. Look at your neighbor and say, I want to be a giant. The word giant traditionally means very great in size or very large. From the biblical information that we have about giants, the average giant was at least 11 feet plus tall. But if we expand that definition to apply to us, we are giants also, giants in the Lord, giants in the spirit. Our theme is standing on the shoulders of giants. 
Giants are very successful. They are very powerful. They have great minds. There is something called a sleeping giant. One that has great but unrevealed power. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, they don't know me yet. But just wait a little while. Giants in the spirit, giants have great wisdom. Giants have great character, giant character, giant love, giant patience. Look at somebody and say, I just want to walk with giants. In that book of Proverbs 27, there is full of wisdom. But it points us to something that's so interesting. When I think about iron rubbing together, as the friction increases, the heat between them also increases. Look at somebody and say, when we get close to each other, the heat increases. It allows them to create a spark between them. Although it may be uncomfortable, for the rods to rub together in that way, but the spark is the result. And when that spark is fanned, it becomes a flame that cannot be contained. The expression iron sharpens iron, we understand that there's something special about it, that, that if we want to experience what we see, if we want to experience what we imagine, if we want to experience what we envision, if we want to experience what we dream about, we need to find someone in that area and get close to them. This is one of the things that have, uh, we have experienced in the church of God in Christ and in the church at large. One generation minister to another. And when one pastor passes God raise up another. When one missionary passes, God raise up another. This gospel will be preached unto the end of the world. There are certain people that we ought to want to be around. The people that we want to uh, look at your neighbors and neighbor, there are no mentors in the body of Christ. They're just giants. These persons must drink spiritual milk. Don't hang out with the wrong folk. Giant makes giants. If you hang out with a midget, you're not going to see very high. He's born an eagle. You can't hang out with chickens. You must observe the person that you're close to and that you uh, want to follow. You must look for certain things about them. They must have the sincere milk of the word. The person that you look at, you must understand they can't be new. Look at your neighbors and neighbor, don't follow new folk. They ain't got no experience yet. Don't follow a novice. Person just got here. The Bible talks about that in the 13th chapter of Matthew. That, 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 that place that had shallow ground. The seed was planted there and they sprouted up real quick. But before you know it, they were gone. Person that we look to, they must be attached to the vine. They must possess the fruit of the Spirit. Not only possess the fruit of the Spirit, they, but they must produce fruit. You see, there's a lot of people who say that they have the fruit of the Spirit, but they're not producing anything. I said years ago, and I maintain a lot of stuff I say. I say so much stuff, a lot of time I end up repeating myself. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you are not a product, but you are a producer. A giant produces. And when I see giants, I want to be like that giant. As we read there in Numbers when Israel went into the land. Now, they didn't go into a strange land that wasn't promised to them. They wasn't trying to take something that didn't belong to them, but that was their inheritance. How many of you know money belongs to the saints? 
You don't want your money? I'll take it. They went into their own inheritance, and there they saw giants. And they were afraid. But I come to let you know today that they had not been uh, nurtured. They had not paid attention to the giant that led them. Remember when Moses led the people out, they looked to others. Often they were angry with Moses. But Moses was a giant of a man. Being the most humble man, the Bible says, in the world, he was a giant. Person, amen, that we look to, they should speak the truth. Notice how sometimes some people know something about everything. If you know something about everything, somewhere you're going to lie. Follow people who speak the truth because the Bible says speaking the truth in love. Follow people who are mature. Giants makes giants. People that are mature, they have faith. And not only do they have faith, but they have the evidence of their faith. You ever notice some people are always talking about what the Lord going to do? Somebody ought to say what the Lord has done. Is there anybody in this room who have a giant testimony? Well, I'll give you one that's very simple. I believe everybody got I was sinking deep in sin, but the master of the sea. Heard my despairing cry from the waters. I wish somebody could testify. Giant testimony. He's a person who practices spiritual discipline. The Bible says, study to show yourself approval unto God, a workman that needed not to be made ashamed. Some folk have no spiritual discipline whatsoever. What you mean by that preacher? They come to church repeatedly late habitual stroll in if though it's your church and you wait till I come I ain't talking to no real people don't follow people who do not have spiritual discipline person we look to must be held accountable the Bible says your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost I, I saw you on Facebook you was dropping it like it was hot. And then when you got it down there, it got cold. Now you leading testimony service. You must be held accountable. Giant makes giants. We ought to look for a person that is above reproach. Now, Paul speaks of overseers and bishops, but I want to say this to all believers. Now is the believer to be above reproach, faithful, temperate, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not given to drunkenness. It didn't say in this passage, little wine. If you're going to walk up right, you got to put wine down. You got to, I, I better not find an old lottery ticket in your car. See, I got the wrong crown. You talking about you praying. Oh, I'm just praying. Lord, let me hit that lottery. Lucy or Satan. You must not have any drunkenness. Not violent, but gentle. Not quarrelsome, but lovely. And you can't be a lover of money. We have experienced men of great character over the years. 75 years, some of us don't have the entire history. But I've been around here long enough to see giants in motion. I've been around here long enough to see giants casting out devils. I've been around here long enough to see that giants was connected to the vine. It wasn't forsaking the assembly of themselves. Look at your neighbor and say, I just want to walk with giants. They're in Philippians. Now, I'm going to get ready to close here. I told you I wasn't going to preach long. They're in Philippians 4.13. The Bible says, now this is a giant talking. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I can back this up by the little man named David. Came upon 
a giant of statue, but he was a little man in the eyes of a real giant. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, no matter what sickness it is, your sickness may look like a giant, but you've got a giant of a word. God sent his word, and his word healed them. In the name of Jesus, is there any giants in the room? In the name of Jesus, Satan, I rebuke you. I told somebody I got a revelation when I read this scripture. The Bible said when the angel Michael came to retrieve Moses' body, he did not bring any railing accusations. In other words, what I'm saying to you, you don't even have to raise your voice. But you can whisper because you have the power of a giant. Satan, I don't have to holler at you. All I've got to do is speak the word. So I heard the Bible said that Michael said, in the name of Jesus, he says, Satan, the Lord rebuked thee. I wish I could preach tonight to some giant advertisers. Some of you tonight, you are not acting big, but big is all over you. Some of you tonight are not wearing t-shirts that's saying I'm a giant, but giant is all over you. I read in the Bible, the Bible said, concerning giants, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to the very man's conscience in the sight of God. I don't have to try to trick you. I've got power from on high. I don't have to try to fool you or blow myself up. But wherever the sole of my feet tread, it belongs to me. I don't have to boast. The Bible said, call those things as though they were. Can you say yes? I thought about a few men in the Bible didn't have nothing great, but the Bible said they became giants. The man at the gate called Beautiful didn't have no trust fund, didn't have no job, but Jesus, through the men of God, he got touched by a giant. He got spoken to by a giant. Look at your neighbors and neighbor. Before you touch, make sure you speak. So Peter said, look on us. Say yes. What you're asking for, we don't have. But what we do have is going to change your life. I'm going to make you a giant. He reached out and grabbed him and said, rise in the name of Jesus. And that crippled man, the Bible said that his anchor bones gained strength. And he ran up in the church and broke up service. Talking about glory to God. I wish somebody had been spoken to by a giant. Standing behind me is a man that's only four foot nine. But he spoke to me. He said, Funches, you my man. He did not know that I looked at him as a giant. And now I'm walking behind him as a giant. Can you say yeah? Giants makes giants. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I want to be a giant. I heard that the woman with the issue of blood was a nobody. But one day she crawled on the ground and touched the giant. 
And I heard that her name got recorded in the record. Has anybody ever been close enough to Jesus that your name will be in the record? Can you say yes? I've loved him. I've praised him. I've praised him so much that I believe that somebody in heaven is pointing at me. Look at him. He's praising him again. Look at him. He's dancing again. Well, I'm dancing because I'm a giant. Can you say yes? I heard that Jared became a giant. I heard that the man at the pool of Bethesda became a giant. I heard that Lazarus, who was dead, had became a giant. I heard that John the Baptist wore funny clothes, ate funny food, but he preached like a giant. And I'm going to tell you this, a giant, recognize a giant. John said, it is not I, I must decrease, and he must increase. Behold, the Son of God, the Lamb that have come to take away the sins of the world. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I want to be a giant. I want to be a giant. I'm not wishing. I'm watching. I'm not wondering. I'm watching. I'm looking at giants. Somebody give God praise. Give him a shot. Give God a giant praise. David. I said, David was a boy, but God saw the giant that was in that boy. Some of you have got a testimony. You were born with expectation. You were born <laughs> with greatness. <laughs> I heard mother say, <laughs> didn't we enjoy mother? <laughs> mother, you preached last night. <laughs> mother said, <laughs> when she went to college, <laughs> this fella here <laughs> kept on following her. <laughs> he was watching, <laughs> not the woman, <laughs> but he was watching <laughs> his future. <laughs> you don't hear me? <laughs> I heard mother say, <laughs> Every time she turn around, here come this little old boy. Didn't she say that? But that little old boy is a doctor. He's a giant. Somebody praise the giant. Say it. The woman. The woman with the widow's might had little money. Matter of fact, she had less than everybody in church. But Jesus happened to be in church that day. Jesus happened to be sitting at the money table where they raised the offering. And here come this little woman with her little bitty might. But Jesus didn't see the might. He saw the might that's in that little woman. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I see might. M-I-G-H-T. You are mighty in God. Pick your feet up. Everybody pick your feet up. Say, what you doing, preacher? I'm stepping up. I'm going higher. I've been hanging around giants. I've been hanging around giants. I heard that the man, Centurion, at the cross, when they crucified Jesus, he became a giant. 
his words ha, are on the record ha, forever. Ha, when the sun, ha, the S-U-N, looked down ha, and saw the S-O-N, the S-U-N, so that's it for me. Ha, I'm done. Ha, my creator ha, is dying. Ha, and so the moon ha, looked at the big brother ha, and said, have you done? Ha, I'm bleeding. Ha, I said, I'm bleeding. But I heard the centurion look up and said, surely, surely, this is the Son of God. Giant! The disciples in the upper room became giants. Philip was a giant. Phil is a giant. I saw him look at me when I said Philip. <laughs> Philip <laughs> was a giant. <laughs> but I thank God <laughs> that Philip <laughs> walked along. <laughs> he saw <laughs> somebody. <laughs> that look like me. The Bible said a black man was in the chariot. He wasn't walking behind the chariot. That was that Negro's chariot. That's why he was sitting in it. Look at your neighbor and said, giant in the making, a sleeping giant. Sleeping giant. Philip spoke to the Ethiopian and made it more plain. I heard that the Ethiopian got on in the chariot after Philip disappeared, went on back to Africa. Y'all didn't hear that. A giant came back to Africa. Giants make giants. Can I say somebody to say yes? So the Ethiopian spread the word all over Africa. And I now got somebody who can witness with me. I feel like an African. I feel like dancing. Giant! Make giant. I, I got to quit. Stephen. Stephen was somebody that was hated just for preaching. So I heard ha, they got together ha, to kill Stephen. Ha, they didn't know. Ha, what they were doing. They didn't know that Stephen had a high priest. Can you say yes? So the Bible said, when they began to stone him, Stephen looked up into the heavens. What did he see? Jesus standing. Now a high priest, when he's done, sits down. But when Stephen got in trouble, the giant stood up, and then Stephen got a giant attitude. He got a giant attitude. Go ahead, stone me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to quit. Giants makes giants. David ended up in the cave of a dullum running for his life, sitting there, shaking his head, thinking about all he's done 
to please Saul, thinking about all he's done to praise the Lord. But look at your neighbor and say, sometimes it get worse before it get better. The Bible said, I said, the Bible said, here come 400 jokers. No job, no money, no, they have nothing, nothing. But if you keep reading in your Bible, after a while, that giant David turned those men into the mighty men. Have you ever heard of the mighty men of David? Look at your neighbor and said, I am a giant. Elijah. Giant makes giant. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I've seen enough giants that I want to be a giant. I didn't get the privilege to meet Bishop Lennox, but I've heard about him. You can't say you're doing your best if you're doing nothing. That's a giant of a statement. But I had the privilege to meet Bishop John I. Cobbs. What a smooth talker. Anybody know Bishop John I. Cobbs? He walks smooth. Come on, somebody. He carried with him a little bag. I don't know if it was some dye for the hair or what. I don't, I don't know what was in it. But he would come to the pulpit. I never heard him holler. Never heard him shout. But what a powerful man. He could tell some smooth stories. Giants makes giants. Bishop Cawthon came into power or into office. A man who stood firm, kept his head up. He was a wall, couldn't move him. I ain't getting no help here. I said, you couldn't move him. And now, a man by way of Alabama, See, what he told us is something we didn't previously know. When he was a boy, somebody saw giant in him. So they nicknamed him. Hey, Bishop, look at your neighbors and neighbor. Here he is the little bishop. Now the big bishop. He's the people's bishop. All right, all right, all right. Elijah was a giant. Oh my God, you talk a giant. See, we talk about the 450 prophets of Baal, but we leave out the 400 of the grove. Elijah was, he was no joke. He didn't hire help to kill them. He killed 850 of them jokers. The Bible said cut them into pieces. Come on, somebody. In the fa look, at, look at your neighbors and neighbor. Don't mess with me. You better not mess around and wake me up. The best thing you can do is walk by me. Don't even look hard. Y'all ain't saying nothing. My daddy, you wouldn't even let us look at him. If he did something we didn't like, we'd look at him. Don't you look at me. Elijah set things in order. Regardless of what Jezebel said, he set things in order. How many of you know 
a giant mentality is transferable. I'm going to say that again. See, 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 I was raised by a giant. Now I'm raising giants. I can't. I wish you could say that. Say that. You, you say that. You, I was raised by. You say that. And now you're raising giants. The mentality of a giant can be passed on. Elijah now, it's time to go. God tell him to go find Elisha. Go get him. I'm going to put him in your office. You got to have a giant mentality. Elisha said to Elijah, I'm going to follow you. I don't care where you go. Elijah paused and said, man, first of all, what is it that you want? Look at your neighbors. I want to be a giant. I ain't shame. Who's shame? You stay little. I want to be a giant. Elisha says, I want a double portion. I want to do two times what you did. That's a giant mentality. You know why Elisha said that? Because he'd been watching Elijah. You, you, you don't go under or reduce from somebody you've been watching in greatness. I, I just want a house. Shut up. I want a whole neighborhood. Give me the block. So, 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 now this is, I, I'm, I'm done now. So now Elisha has had the privilege to reach all of the miracles that would make it double except one. See, the devil always wants you to think about but, except. But here's the story. Elisha was dead. Hey. That's some power in the bones of a dead saint. Elijah is dead in the grave. Now, I don't know how that and why that grave was open, but it was open. Come on, somebody. I don't care why it was open. It was open. Dead soldier. They threw him in the open grave, and the man's body hit Elijah. Hit Elisha's body and it came back to life. Look at your neighbor and said, double portion. I want to be a giant. Oh. Come on, somebody help me praise the Lord. Put your hands together and give God the best. Give him the best praise you can. Anybody want to be saved? Anybody that's not saved? Brother, Brother Stevie, can you remember when you was about this tall? Let me tell you what we did. When we, you know, just come into church. You know, we used to, we used to look up toward the pulpit. Come on, preachers, any preachers. All the preachers look up at the pulpit. And in their mind, if I ain't talking to you, you ain't got no giant attitude. In your mind, you see preach in a setting like this. I ain't talking to the real people. Anybody want to be saved? Salvation is the real deal. We, we so messed up in our culture. We, we just lost ourselves in our culture. Our young people are just, they gone in culture. But salvation is real. I 
I, I told my testimony a couple of Sundays ago. The Lord saved me at home in the bed. Now, I've heard a lot of good preachers. But that night, in my bed, somebody started preaching to me. I said it was Jesus. Can't nobody preach like him. Can't nobody talk like him. And I, I told the church, the longer he preached, the weaker I got. After a while, I shouted, yes, Lord! <laughs> Salvation is real. I want to encourage and invite someone. Heaven. People talk about, I want to go to heaven. I want to go to heaven. I want to go to heaven. I want to. The Lord gave me a revelation about that. I ain't concerned about getting to heaven. I just want to go where Jesus is. I don't care where, I don't care where he can be down on Madison. If he down there, that's where I want to be. Y'all ain't hearing me. Salvation. Jesus said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man will open the door, anybody, mankind, anybody, open the door, he said, I'll come in. What I have noticed is this. So many people are trying to fix themselves. Oh my God, that don't, I'm, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit. I ain't what I should be, but thank God I ain't what I used to be, then you ain't nothing. You still ain't nowhere. I'm going to quit. Won't you come to church? I'm going to come. And so what most people do is they sweep and garnish their house. But the best broom you can buy will still leave dust residue behind. Folks don't want to be washed. I'm inviting you today to come to Jesus. Let him wash you. Wash you. Regenerate you. Transform you. Any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all cigarettes, cigars, beer, wine, wine cooler, Cavassier, Crown Royal. I didn't just, I, you know, I, I wasn't born saved. The Lord will take all of it away. I just, you know, I just, I, I got to quit. Lord help me. I just, you know, I just like that house music, man. Give me a little smooth jazz. The Lord will take all of it away. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Anybody, anybody want to be saved? Anybody want to be saved? Maybe somebody watching us by Facebook. I'm saying to that person, wherever you are, just lift your hands. Begin to talk to Jesus. No resumes. No pedigrees, no questionnaire. Just begin to talk to Jesus. Confess your sins. He already knows, but confess them. If we repent and confess our sin, He is righteous, He will save us, He's compassionate. Give your life to Jesus. We don't have to use no formula. Just, hey, listen, let's just be real. Let's just talk straight. Don't worry about Romans 10, 9, and 10. Just, just talk straight. When you didn't got caught, you know what you do? You start to apologize. Well, guess what? If you're a sinner, you've been caught. Don't apologize to God, though. He does not accept apologies. 
He only accepts repentance. God bless you tonight. Come on, tell the Lord thank you. Tell the Lord thank you. Praise the Lord. Didn't we enjoy the word of God on tonight? Praise the Lord. Listen, uh, we have had a great four nights. And uh, I just want to tell you this, the best is yet to come. Amen. It is time to go, but I just want you to know, we do have one uh, person that we are concerned about, and that is our, our brother, Superintendent. Superintendent Greenwood, and uh, we're asking the saints of God to continue to pray for him. Amen. Continue to pray for him that God will raise him up. At this time, we're going to ask our bishop to come with final remarks and dismissal as he sends us home at this time. Say amen. God bless you. Please stand. The Lord has blessed us with his presence and he has fed us through the lips of Dr. Funches. That was a word from the Lord. Giants among us. Look at that person next to you and say, guess what? You look like you might have a giant in you. Giants. Father God, we thank you tonight for the words you gave your preacher. We thank you tonight for these who have assembled and remain. We ask, O oh God, that you will continue to bind us together in love. Tear down confusion everywhere. Let Satan be bound in our midst. Bind them in our minds, bind them in our hearts, in our homes, in our communities. Bind them all over the world. Bind the devil everywhere. Keep us in the center of your will. Let your will be done in our hearts, in our souls, and in our minds. And as we leave this place, we dare not leave your presence. Be with us as we go here and there, to and fro. Let your will be done in every heart every soul and every mind. Bless our coming together that our efforts are not in vain. And as we leave this place, we ask, O oh God, that you would apply with us with traveling mercy over the dangerous highways and the skyways that we return again at the appointed time. And for that, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. For this is our prayer. And we say hallelujah, hallelujah, for it's the highest praise. Hallelujah. We give you the highest praise. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory be to God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.